All right, guys, straight into it. This is a very basic but incredibly effective way to zinc plate your bolts. We're gonna turn our bolt from this bead blasted finish into this beautiful zinc plated finish. These have all been completed and all the videos I've seen online don't really show up close in high resolution how good a result you can get. And this is a very simple solution uh, to a DIY kind of setup. So what do we have here? We have a plastic water bottle. We have 100 ml of solution. The solution is made up of 400 ml of white vinegar. So we just have standard white vinegar. We have distilled water, 600 ml. So 400 ml vinegar, 600 ml distilled water, making one liter total. We have about 100 grams of regular salt dissolved in this solution. What else do we have? We have some cheap anodes. These are zinc anodes, which you can just pick up uh, from Amazon. They're just little plates, very cheap, only about eight euro, eight dollars. You can get several packs of them. Um, what I did first was, so this is my battery caddy. Uh, again, only a couple of bucks on Amazon. Two D-cell batteries totaling three volts. We have some crocodile clips and that's it. You don't need anything else. I'm sure if you have a small bit of copper wire kicking around, that's what we use to actually suspend the bolt in the solution. Now, first thing that I did was I charged basically. So if I connect my negative to this anode here, basically what you're doing is you're essentially adding zinc from one of the plates into the solution for about one hour. You'll see it fizzling away. So you're running your positive to one of these anodes and then connect your negative to the opposite side you'll see one of them fizzling away and that's adding zinc into the solution. You can then reverse the polarity and then you'll swap to the other one. So you can run that for about one hour, suspend the zinc in the actual solution itself. You can do it for a few hours more than that. I find one hour is absolutely fine. Now you're ready to actually rock and roll. What you wanna do is get your bolt. Now you're gonna have really rusty bolts, clean them up, get yourself a wire wheel. I'm lucky in that I can actually bead blast these or sandblast them with a really basic sandblaster out in my garage. Uh, or use uh, some, a wire brush, get them absolutely spotlessly clean. Now, once you come inside, you want to fully degrease it as well. I'm using just a really basic degreaser, but use some kind of a, a degreaser to get all oils off the actual bolt. Do not touch it with your raw hands. You don't want any oils on this bolt at all. Next, what we're going to do, get ourselves a stick, suspend that across the top. Now, we're changing the wiring ever so slightly. We're gonna be keeping this positive cable on this anode and the circuit essentially ends here. And essentially the connection is gonna be made with the actual solution itself to the bolt. This will become a bit more clear here in a few moments. I'm actually gonna suspend it here in my wire. This is my copper wire. I'm gonna suspend this right in the middle. Now, the reason I have it set up with two anodes, you can do it with one if you want, but basically having one on either side of the bolt gives it a much more even finish. So I have that centered right in the middle. And so we have everything ready to roll. All we're doing now is getting our negative cable. So we've noticed it looks red, it is actually black. This is the negative cable coming from the battery caddy. And boom. Straight away, look at that reaction. So that's fizzling away. Now you don't have to leave it in my setup. I found that this only needs two minutes tops. So you're not sitting here for eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes that I've seen in other videos. Again, guys might be using larger parts, a different kind of solution. This setup is perfect for small parts, small bolts. You don't need anything bigger than this. So as you can see, it's reacting away. Now I did experiment with different solutions. People were talking about uh, bicarbonate of soda solutions. Perhaps I was doing things wrong, but again, I found 400 mils of vinegar, 600 mils distilled water, 100 grams of salt, mix it, mix it for a good two, three minutes. As you can see, this isn't heated either. I'm not using a fish water or, you know, a fish tank heater. Uh, I'm not using an agitator either. This is literally just solution in an old plastic bottle. Uh, and as you can see, it's bubbling away. And we're gonna come back to this in about 60 seconds. And just to show you the setup a little more closely, this copper wire, I just have a loop that kind of loops around the edge of this anode and the same thing happens on that side there. You can see it's just looped around. So it's an establishing connection between both of them. That is about two minutes, 120 seconds. 
By the way, make sure you crack a window as well because gases are released from this. I'm going to just disconnect the negative. And as if by magic, look at that finish. Let me just get it onto a table here. I'm going to just rinse it in some distilled water. Take a look at that. Absolutely perfect. There's no arguing that finish. Look at the quality. Full coverage. Again, crucial that you keep it absolutely spotless before it goes into the solution. And there you go. So I have six bolts lined up there. That was the finish beforehand. That's obviously a different size bolt. But that got... Um, this essentially had the same bead blasted finish as that bolt. So take a look at that. Super hard wearing finish. There's the head. Absolutely immaculate. Hope this guide helps some people out. I see kind of confusing solutions and ratios online. Just follow what I mentioned in regards to this solution here. Uh, the electrical setup, super basic, super easy. And you should get the exact same results so long as you follow it precisely. Thanks for watching.